Music is essential to a fully rounded education, yet in the past, music in schools has been starved of investment and deprived of adequate attention. We deliver one simple message on behalf of every parent, carer, and child and educator in this country. But music education must be the birthright of all our children and not just the lucky few. I think the manifesto is very, very important uh, indeed and we wanted to make sure that we went even further in the next three years and the manifesto and all the supporters and the ambassadors we've got have spurred us on to do even better in the next few years. From the start, the Music Manifesto was a campaign about children's learning and music making, not formal education. It was a campaign that said that the sector had to respond to children much more effectively and we needed to reach the majority of young people, not, not super serve a minority. Being part of the Music Manifesto has meant for me and for our school that we've been able to be part of um, something really big in music making and we felt that we're really at the centre of decision making. We really believe in the Music for All agenda and at Galleons everyone gets a chance to sing and play. Within Bigger Fish our ethos is very much about putting young people at the centre of learning what I would say is about how we learn from the people we're trying to teach. The key thing about the Music Manifesto is that it, for the first time in music education in Britain it brought together all the people and organisations who could contribute or who are interested in or who are delivering music education. And Sing Up demonstrates what's possible if you can bring together the whole industry uh, to do something together. So for the government itself simply to be putting money straight into the school's music is of course a good thing but it's not enough to bring about a revolution. The thing that surprised me as a minister was how quickly we were able to get the music manifesto going. There was huge enthusiasm on the part of uh, all of those people who had a stake in music. The music companies, the orchestras, the ensembles, the pop groups to come into this. Many of them had been yearning for an opportunity to make a difference in schools. We've come a long way in building a coalition, in getting new money and new ways of working. A long way to getting towards a genuine Music for All offer. But we have some serious challenges. What we need to construct is a global network of initiatives. For the 21st century, we need a completely different style of education. I think one of the issues that we still need to address is how we really capitalise on young people's passion. And making sure that children really have the opportunities in school and out of school to make the most of their musical talents. 